Looks like you got trouble, Reverend. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It sure is embarrassing, too. I was coming back from this wedding I performed, and I bedded down for the night. <laughs> I forgot to tie my horse down hard enough. I tell you, it sure is a hot day for all this walking. You bet. Well, if I can be of any help. Yeah, you sure can. You can hand over the mare you got there right now. Well, I don't see how I can do that without an argument. Well, I'm going to see that you get your horse back. Well, that's real nice of you. First time I ever met a horse thief. Called it a loan. Take a look at that. U.S. Deputy Marshal. That's right. With a turned around collar. I'm after a murderer, mister. And I don't aim to let him get me first. Who's the man you're after? Ben Rollins. Rollins? Thought he was in Colorado. That's what everybody thinks, that he's in Colorado. But I got a different line on him. My horse broke a leg about three miles up the road, and I had to kill it. You ever tell a story straight? That's a straight story. You got the badge there in your hand to prove it. And I got the papers here in my pocket to show that I got the authority. Well, now, that might make you a lawman, but that don't give you the right to take what's mine. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay you for your horse. I take it you got $500 there in your pocket? Look, I just bought this mare. And ain't nobody, no marshal or anyone, gonna take it or buy it from me. Now, you can borrow it. Well, I thank you kindly. Very kindly, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see that you get it back. How about that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna ride along with you till you find another horse. Now, look, I'm chasing after a man that's wanted for robbery and murder. And I don't look forward to having somebody tag along after me that I gotta look after. Well, I always heard that two guns were better than one. Being you ain't got a posse. I don't need one, either. Look, I don't mean to stand in the way of a lawman doing his duty. But I just ain't gonna let him ride off with my horse, either. Well, then that's gonna be a mighty expensive horse if you die in the process, ain't it? It's your choice. Let's go. Are you? Don't be alarmed, ma'am. We won't hurt you. 
Are you Mrs. Rollins? No. No, I'm Amanda. My name is Amanda Carter. Well, where's your husband? Well, he's gone. Dead. Dead. Well, I think you were right the first time. Now, I'm going to ask you once again. Where is Ben Rollins? <coughs> huh? That's enough. Can't you see she's sick? I'm going to have a look around outside there. I hope for your sake I find nothing. Like always. It's been bad the last few weeks. Me. We'll have to wait, little fella. We got a lady here. Need some help. Come on now. Fly back here. I got an extra blanket on my saddle. When I get back, I'll get that fire going again. Be right back. Mr. Barkley. He's Barkley. Mr. Barkley, that man's not a preacher. He's a bounty hunter. Name of Weaver. Oh, Mr. Barkley. Thank you. wash or change him. Well, that's no trouble at all, man. These last few weeks, I have, haven't even been able to feed him proper. Well, he's making up for it right now. You're good at that, handling babies. Well, I lived with a family once for a while that had, had 12 of them. The man had to kind of learn to diaper in self-defense. I think that it's time you started talking to us about your husband. Carter. My name is Carter. Is that right? Do you know that I went all the way back to a little bitty town there in Missouri that Ben Rollins is supposed to have come from? And I checked the records in that town? And they say that about seven years ago, Ben Rollins married a girl. Her name was Amanda Carter. Go to a lot of trouble to find a man, Weaver. Well, our Mr. Rollins is wanted for robbery in six states. And he's wanted for murder in the state of Colorado. That's right, murder. Now, would you like to tell me where he is? That's not true. Now, my husband wouldn't murder anybody. He wouldn't? Do you know three witnesses saw him shoot down a bank clerk in cold blood? No. He's a good man. He's a really good man. He's really a good man, is he? That's why you're laying there sick, huh? All the time? Because he's really a good man who hasn't been back here in how long? Months. Did you ever think, Mrs. Rollins, that maybe he'll never come back and see you? That's right. Now, he and his gang have performed a couple robberies lately. Must have got him a lot of money by now. 
What do you think they're doing with all of that money? Hmm? Not sending it to you, are they? There's an awful lot of women out there, Mrs. Rollins. Awful lot of women that sure like to be up next to Mr. Ben Rollins and all of his money. No! Yes. And you're laying there dying in your baby, too? No! I told you once to leave her alone. I think I know how to handle this. That's a trouble you don't. And you're not going to hound her this way. You got no stake in this. You're just a dedicated lawman, huh? You'll do anything and anybody to nail Ben Rollins. Somebody's got to do the job. Last I heard, there was a $10,000 reward on Rollins. Is that why you're so dedicated? You're not working for the government, you're working for yourself. It's legal. I got a badge. I got the papers giving me the authority to do it. Now, you can call it anything else you want to. You know, a man works all of his life wearing a badge, and he don't get nothing for it. He gets a lot of hard work and scrub pay, and that's it. Now, I go out, and I do my job, and I do it very well, <laughs> and I get paid very well for it, and I do anything that I have to to get the job done. Miss Rollins has got to get to a doctor. I'm taking her out of here in the morning. If Rollins comes back, he'll come back here. Well, that's your problem. If I wait any longer, she may die. No, let go of me. Let me. Bring the baby. trying to get to her husband. I done told you she know where he's at. He's gonna kill Ben. I just can't let him. Just tell me where he is. I promise you I won't harm him. I'll bring him in alive. But tell me where he is. Now get out. That doesn't matter. Because Rollins will be coming back for his kid. Mr. Barkley. Mr. Barkley, he's gonna... He's gonna kill my husband, isn't he? He... He just won't give Ben a chance. Well, the posters say dead or alive. Your husband resists. But he will. He has to. <coughs> oh, God. He couldn't stand to be fended. You just lie back and get some sleep now. <coughs> hey, Mr. Barkley, what's going to happen to Joey? You're going to be all right. You're a kind man, but you're a rotten-handed lie. 
What's going to happen to Joey? I don't know. Would you take care of it for me? Miss Rollins, I can't. Please. You've got to. I, I don't know what else to do with it. Please, just promise me. <coughs> I promise. Thank you. You know, it's funny. I've seen a lot of reward posters on Rollins. Never seen a picture of him. Sure you know what he looks like? I even know what he eats for breakfast. You know, Rollins usually travels with three or four men. How do you figure on getting him alone? I could deputize you. Yeah, you could, but you won't. You don't want to have to cut anybody else in on that reward money. But I think you're going to have to work real hard for it, Weaver. Well, I'm taking a chance that Rollins is going to come in here after his family by himself. Now, if he comes in here with more men than I can handle, then I'll have to wait and get him another time. You going to take that kid with you? She asked me to. What do you think Rollins is going to do when he comes here and finds his kid gone and his wife dead? Well, a $10,000 reward. You going to give him a chance to do anything? There's nothing like gin when you feel all done in. And when I'm thirsty for a beer, better serve it to me, dear. Just put away a whole bottle. three-cornered pants you got on. The pins seem all right. It's not there. Don't you, boy? You wait right here. I'll be right back, huh? trees, Ben. No lawman after my hide, either. That'll be nice for a change. Not having to keep looking over my shoulder all the time. Hmm. 
And sooner or later, somebody's going to be there with that wanted post in his pocket and a hankering for them 10,000 iron men the government's offered for you. Now, once I'm over that border, they can't touch me. It's been seven years for me and a <clears throat> Running, hiding, no peace. It's time she had more than that, her and Joe. I think we can get it up there. And nobody gets out, Ben. One way or another, once you're in, you're in the state. No, not me. All right, let's get ready to move out. You want my advice, Link? You head for Canada, too. Give him some extra grain, Glenn. He sure earned it. Sorry, a couple of things held me up. Did you get the mayor? She's outside. He. Oh, what's in the basket? Well, now that's a fine welcome after being gone for two weeks. Well, of course, I'm glad you're home, but what's in the basket? Well, you see, Mother. Oh. 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 Mother, she's beautiful. Uh, he. His name's Joey. What is this? Well, he was crying. Teeth in, you know. I cut that off my saddle cinch. Oh. Well, I don't suppose a little more dirt will hurt you. Heath, I know you didn't find this baby on a doorstep. Where did you get him? Is Jared here? I'd like to ask him about some legalities. He's in San Francisco. Heath, where did you get this child? He's Ben Rowland's son. <laughs> It uh, was only four days ago. Amanda's name, not Joey's. Whoever buried her must have taken him. Hey, where are you going? To get Joey. Ben, if anybody can track whoever took him, you can, but... Well, maybe it'd be best if you just forgot it right here. Forget it. I don't know how Amanda died. I don't know where my son is or who has him. Just like that, forget it. Ben, look at the name on the marker. Amanda Rollins. 
Now, they know who she was, Ben. You take off after Joey, you're gonna walk head on right into a trap. You coming with me, Ling? No, Ben. You? You haven't got up to Canada. You, you look join me up. What is this doing here? That child is not this. Well, what is that child doing here, then? I brought him. Meet Master Joseph Rollins, Nick. Uh, oh, uh, who? You can call him Joey. Joey, huh? <laughs> What's he want with that spoon there? Well, he's teething. Oh, well, uh, how'd it get here? That's a long story. His mother was dying. She asked me to take care of him. Oh? Well, uh, has he got a father? His father's got a price on his head. Oh, wait a minute. Back up. Rollins. You said Rollins. That kid by any chance belonged to Ben Rollins? That's right. Wonderful. That man's been wanted for five years for murder and robbery. He carries six states in his pocket, and they haven't caught up with him yet. And knowing all this, you got the guts to drag that kid out and bring him to this house. I just couldn't leave him there alone now, could I? Have you given any thought as to what Rollins is going to do when he finds out his kid's gone? Well, he's been gone for quite a while. He may not be back for months. Oh, that could be. But if he does get back and he trails you here, have you thought about that? There's a bounty hunter just waiting for him to come back to that cabin. The way I see it, Rollins hasn't got a chance. Well, now, I wouldn't count on that if I were you. He's been trapped before, you know, and he's still free. You're both overlooking a most important thing. What happens to the baby? Well, the uh, sooner we get him to an orphanage, the better. Joey's not going to an orphanage. And why not? Because I happen to know what it's like to be an orphan. Not belong anywhere. I want Joey to belong. I want him to have a family with kids to grow up with. Till I find one, he's staying right here. Heath is absolutely right. There will be no more talk about an orphanage. Heath is also right that... Joey should be raised with children and other young children. Let's see, the Whitakers now, now, they've been talking about adopting another baby, and the Stanleys, they, they have some young children that... I'll make some visits tomorrow. I'll drive you, Mother. Well, I'll, uh... I'll go up and, uh, clean up Audra's old room. Make it ready for him. About time someone cleaned that room up anyway. Don't worry, Heath. Joey's going to be all right. Stop right there, Mr. Rollins. You carrying a badge, Reverend? Or are you working for yourself? A little bit of both, thank you. Now, just hold it right there. Now, the government doesn't much care how I bring you in, whether it's setting up in that saddle or laying across it dead. And you? Whatever's easiest for me. And that, I guess, would be with you dead, wouldn't it? Seems to be your choice. Whatever's fair.
Here. Mrs. Whitaker. I wasn't expecting company. Oh, we're not exactly company today. Tell me, do you and your husband still want to adopt a baby? Well, we, we were thinking about it. Why? Is this one up for adoption? Oh, not yet. You see, his mother is dead, and we can't find his father. He is beautiful. A boy. Mm-hmm. Well, why can't his father be located? His father's Ben Rollins. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but it is our busy time, uh, Mrs. Barclay. Putting in props and all. And, and my little girl hasn't been feeling very good. I haven't any time for a baby. But you said you wanted to adopt a baby and I... Yes. Sometime. Not now? Or not this baby? It doesn't make any difference, does it? I'm sorry. The answer is no, Mrs. Barclay. You done? Yes. You'll be fit to travel in about two weeks. I'm moving now. You're not a minister? No, doctor. As a matter of fact, I'm not. I didn't think so. Preachers don't usually come in here all shut up. Well, I'll save you the trouble of asking. I'm not a preacher. I'm legally deputized to go after Ben Rollins. I finally caught up to him, and he shot me. I don't suppose you'll listen, but I'm required to tell you this anyway. That wound won't kill you, if you rest. But if you insist on riding, you'll break the stitches and start bleeding again. And if you lose much more blood, Mr. Weaver, I can't be responsible for you. I'm not asking you to be responsible for me. Local sheriff could help you round up a posse. I don't need a posse. For heaven's sake, man, why not? Why not? There's a $10,000 reward out for Ben Rollins. That's why not. And you can't see splitting it. I've been chasing after that man for over a year, and I don't know how many miles. I finally caught up to him, and he shot me. No, sir, I can't see splitting it. Now, how much do I owe you? Two dollars is enough. And change that bandage every few hours. If I get the time, doctor, I will. Well, Miss Barkley, you know how it is. Well, we've got four of our own, and we uh, sure would like to take the little fella in, but, uh... Why, what's wrong with him? He's healthy. He's cute as a button. Well, you got room. Oh, we could feed him in all heath, but, well, he wouldn't be one of ours. Well, he would be if you took him in now. Well, he's so young, he doesn't even know who he is yet. Well, now, somebody would surely find out. We couldn't keep it a secret, and they'd want to know, and... Miss Barclay? I understand. Well, I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Not all, Miss Barclay. turned him down flat. Why? For the same reasons you talked about yesterday. Trouble. The poor little fellow doesn't even know it yet. Why, uh, why is he so pink? We've been riding around in the sun all day. Uh, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't you do something about it? Have you got any suggestions? Uh, no. Uh, it's just that, well, I thought that maybe somebody should do something about it. Well, don't worry, Nick. We'll take care of him. Come on, brother. Well, what happens, Heath, if you can't find anyone to take him in? Maybe we'll just keep him, huh? That's exactly what I was thinking.
just keep it down, will you? Huh? Will you keep it down? I'm trying to get some sleep in there. Oh, oh well, that's the Just take it easy. What do you want to do? You want to maybe get up? Want to get up and sit for a while? Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's there. Oh, wait a minute now, you. Oh, backwards. There you go. There. There. Hey? Wasn't so bad, was it? Huh? Was it worth all that crying, huh? There we go. There. There we are. Huh. See that? It's all better now, isn't it? Hmm? Hey. Say, uh, Uncle Nick. Can you say, Uncle Nick? Say, say, huh? Oh, well, we'll work on it tomorrow, all right? Huh? You'd make a great father, Nick. Oh, well, he, uh, I heard him crying here, and, uh, well, I thought there was something I could do, and, well, he seems like being held, so, you know. You're doing it very well. You know what? He, he, he smiled at me. Babies do that. Oh, no, no. He smiled right at me. Right. Well, I think he likes his Uncle Nick. Yeah. I believe he does. Huh? <laughs> well, that's about it, I guess. You sure we got enough baby food, Nick? Are you kidding? There's enough here to last him till he's 12 years old. Baby food, eh? Don't tell me you haven't got rid of that Rollins kid yet. What's your interest, Jameson? Oh, words out. I heard you were all over the whole valley trying to palm that kid off on folk. I didn't ask what you'd heard. I asked what's your interest. Well, everybody knows about him. Now, we don't want him here. Well, now, ain't you the interested citizen, Jameson? If you knew anything about that kid, you'd know he's only nine months old. Now, what do you expect from him? To go to the nearest bank and stick it up with his rattle? Nah, trouble breeds trouble. You know a boy follows after his father. Joey doesn't even know his father. It's in the blood. If that's true, then you should be a blacksmith like your father. Now, uh, we let him live here, he'll wind up robbing this town blind someday. Well, now, what do you suggest we do? Shoot him like a dog because he might have rabies? <laughs> that might not be a bad idea with a little mongrel. <laughs> Nick. Nick. What? Well, I was going to do that. Well, we just chalked that one up for little Joey, then. All right, for that, I'll buy you a beer. You're on. I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for work. Oh, we got a full crew on. Oh, yeah. Do most anything, mister. Smithin', handyman. I really do need the job. Well, I guess we could use somebody around the house fixing things. All right, for a few days. Put your stuff in the bunkhouse there and check with my brother Nick. Uh, he'll get you started. Much obliged, Mr. Barkley. Heath Barkley. Tom Bennett. up the windows on the outside. I can start in here if you like. Good. You keep working like this, you'll run out of chores to do. It's nice to have some chores to do. Uh, these windows here. Now, the lace curtains, of course... Baby in the house, I see. For a while. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can start over there if you prefer. Yes, ma'am. He sure is a good-looking boy. Mm-hmm. I don't suppose I could pick him up, could I? I know how I had a son once. Of course. Thank you. What's his name? Joey. Hello, Joey. Is he a good boy? Oh, he cries a little. He's teething, but he isn't any trouble. Oh, Bennett, when you're through here, Richardson would like some help in the barn. Yes, sir. Hi, uh, Joey. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Do these windows over here. I get it. What do you want here, Weaver? Weaver? Bounty hunting marshal. Are you Mrs. Barkley now? Yes. Well, then I guess I'd better speak with you. I have uh, papers here that give me all the authority I need to use your house here as a headquarters. You mean as a trap? Or you can call it anything you want. I am, and we don't want any part of your setup. Look, uh, this gives me all the authority I need. Now, if you want to stand in my way, then... No one is standing in your way. You're free to go whenever you like. Mrs. Barclay, Rollins is going to be coming here after his kid. Now, I had him out on the trail, and he got away from me. And uh, he's going to be coming here sooner or later. Look, Weaver, you're wearing a badge. That makes you the law. But you're not using us to carry out your kind of law. That means you're obstructing justice, you know that. All I can see is you're trespassing on Barclay property. What does it matter as long as it gets a job done? Get the job done someplace else and as quickly as possible. Now, get going, Weaver. That's Joey. Bennett. I don't mean to hurt you, ma'am. I just want my son. I stand corrected. Mr. Rawlins. Who brought Joy here? I did. What happened to my wife? I found your wife very sick, Mr. Rawlins. Before she died, she asked me to take care of Joy. He did all he could for her. I suppose I should thank you. We aren't condoning what you did. But Joey shouldn't have to suffer for it, as your wife did. He won't. There was a bounty hunter just here, looking for you. I saw him. Easy. Well, he's taking that baby's just going to slow you up. Mr. Rollins, think of Joey. What can you offer him? What kind of a life can you give him? What do you offer him, Mrs. Barkley? Well, we hope to find him a good home with children, young children. If that's not possible, we'll keep him. I want him. All right, suppose you get away. How is Joey going to grow up? Just like any other boy. He's my son. You don't even have one. You don't know. I do. I have three sons and a daughter. Then you know why I'm doing this. Because I care for the boy. Mrs. Barclay, would you wrap him up in a blanket, please? If you really love Joey, you'll leave him here. Give him a chance to grow up and live decent. Let him be worth something, Rollins. Sorry, Barkley. I thank you for the thought. But he's too important to me. I step over into the middle of the room. Mrs. Barkley, I'll take Joey now. Joey. Far enough. All right, what are you going to do now? Looks 
like Weaver's got you nailed. You try to get out of here, Joey's liable to be killed also. Remember, dead or alive, you pay off. Dead is easier. It's funny. He said the same thing to me a little while ago. Sparkle, you take Joy upstairs, please. I heard you were a crack shot. You missed me clean. I put my bullet just where I wanted it to go. Barkley, you made a promise to my wife that you'd look after Joey. I want you to see that he ends up in, in a good home and gets all the right things. I will. And the reward? You collect it. And use it for Joey. See, it's, it's the only thing I'll ever be able to give him. I'll see to it. It's, it's not enough. Father shouldn't leave this boy alone. Rollins is dead. Isn't that what you wanted? Then what about the reward? I chased after the man for a whole year. I even got shot up. I figure I should get something. Mr. Weaver, I don't doubt that sooner or later you're going to get exactly what you deserve. <laughs> Guess Rollins wasn't as bad as people figured. Certainly not about Joey. He actually forced you to shoot him, to kill him? Weaver was quite upset about the reward money going to Joey. But even he admitted it was legal. Hmm. I'll get it. Hello. Even Nick. Mrs. Barkley at home? Yeah. Oh, come on in. Lydia, Jim, how nice to see you. We came by to, to see about the boy. What about him? Well, we, um, we talked things over, me and the uh, missus, and we decided, um, well, we decided that uh, we wanted the boy. At least, uh, with our four, you'd have some children to play with. Well, I think that can be arranged. You know you have some reward money coming. I don't understand, Nick. Well, Joey's father's dead, and, uh, well, the reward money goes for the care of the baby. Well, now, we we'll just put that aside for the baby. Just one thing. Now, what's that, Nick? I want visitor rights. Me too.